happy Saturday. It's our last full day here in Paris. We're headed to the metro station right now to go do some exploring. First, we're gonna find some lunch near the area we're gonna explore. I think we're gonna be in the Latin Quarter. So we're gonna try to find something good to eat. Pardon. Found us a little uh, bakery right here with uh, some pre-made baguette sandwiches. Stopped in here real quick. We're in a very like touristy like area. There's tons of people out. All the restaurants are very expensive, so we decided to stop here instead of uh, a cafe. So. Sandwich looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Let's see what it looks like. It had like a lot of juicy stuff. Like it looked juicy sauce. Yeah. You like. Yeah. And you see tons of Parisians walking around the street, yeah. literally walking down the street eating this or, you know, so it's gonna be good. We found our store here in, in Paris. It's the Carol store, We're selling fancy clothes. So we can't afford. Yeah, oh, definitely not. <laughs> Stumbled upon a market. Trash city. Yeah, it's a lot. Let's cross over to this little. Yeah, it's trashy. Whew. We just made it to our first movie location of the day. These are the steps. What movie? Oh, Midnight in Paris. Owen Wilson sits right here. And all of a sudden, he would be tr transferred back in time. Someone would come up yeah, this street right here. The car would come up this street and he'd walk down to him and be transferred back in the 1920s. Let's, t let's recreate the picture. Yes, all the trash. Mattress, there's a whole mattress, futon mattress, everything. Oh, I guess we should have walked down that alley, I was wrong. We just got an extra block of walking. All right, here's Kayla Owen Wilson waiting for, yeah. Waiting for her time travel machine to show up. Picture. Yep, he'd come walking down to this spot and get taken back in time. Here's another big building. I could look it up and see what it is, but... Oh, that's the Pantheon. The Pantheon. It's kind of a, it's a tourist attraction too. Yep, there's the Pantheon, we saw it. That's cool. That's a kind of a cool shot of the Pantheon right here. Where are you? I think we're in Lane Paris. Her apartment. Yes, we are. I see the restaurant. Oh yeah, I see it. There it is, huh? Right there. And there's Gabrielle's restaurant right there. So that's Gabrielle's right down there? Mm -hmm. Those guys watch the show? <laughs> I guess. They're monopolizing the area, aren't they? Yeah. Did she ever sit out in this little courtyard and stuff? I think so, yeah. Hmm. Does it look like what you thought? Yeah, it does. Yeah, I think people live up there. Yeah, I think those are apartments. So which how, which floor does she live on? And that, isn't that a thing? She gets a, she gets confused. Yeah. She, so it's really though. She's on fourth or fifth. I can't remember. That's all the way at the top. Yeah, she's high up. And she opens up her windows and looks out. Yeah, but I mean, could be fake. You don't really see this view. Yeah. yeah they put like a different view. It's cool. No, they. 
They call it something else? Yeah. And then do you see the graffiti back there or anything? No. We're at the Emily and Paris apartment building right here behind us. And these kids that live in the building are just like opening the door and like just standing in front of the door and blocking the way so nobody can get their picture made. Being annoying. So we just took a picture from back here with the fountain instead. You got the whole building. And then this girl over here took photos oh, yeah. for 30 minutes. Yeah, this chick over here took a whole photo shoot eating a baguette on yeah. the camera. My goodness, I mean, I do kind of understand that kids do live there, so there are going to be people coming in and out. But, but they're doing it on purpose because they, they know. Because yeah. they know people want a picture with their building. Yeah. Yeah. So we got a picture right here at least. Yeah. Okay. And then now we're going to get, get you a picture with the. Uh, at the uh, restaurant over yeah. there. Yeah. Gabrielle's little, unless she goes and takes another hour photo shoot. Yeah, she's gonna take a whole, whole hour over there. Sheesh. <laughs> Anyways, it's pretty right here though. Yeah, I like this little courtyard like area. Little courtyard the cute area. fountain. So they have to like block all this off when uh -huh. they're filming and oh, yeah. stuff. So, so like, that people don't just wander around on so set. So when people do live here, where do they go? They have they? to exit another, another way. But what if there's not another exit? Look, there's the boys again. Uh -huh. so you see the kids are there opening the door. And there's like a line of people wanting to take take their picture because yeah. it's a very popular show on Netflix. Yeah, it's super, super popular. So. But they're like young teenagers, so of course yeah. they just want to be little pain, pains pains in the butt. butts. <laughs> yeah. And this is Gabrielle's restaurant location. <sighs> now here's the front of the Pantheon, like a half a block from Emily and Paris's uh, apartment. Pretty crazy, huh? That's huge. Golly. This is mind blowing how big this thing is. You can't even, it's, it's like your eyes can't even really see how big it is. American Corner. That's what that restaurant's called. You can see, you can see Notre Dame from here. I believe that's what those spires are down there. Those weird gargoyle things up there. Yeah. Look like weird long dogs. We found this at cafe. Pop in here to have a couple of drinks. And just relax for a minute. We have found the Shakespeare and Company store. That has been seen in many a, many a movie. Pretty cool. So we know they've seen, filmed Midnight in Paris and Before Sunset right here. Usually the awnings are up, but it's still cool. And right across the way here, in a second, you'll be able to see Notre Dame. They're currently rebuilding a big portion of it from when it was on fire, remember? A couple years ago. How did that start? What happened? I don't remember the story of like why it started. There's more art over there too. We're at yet another cafe with a whole bottle of wine now. <laughs> we were stressed today. Yeah, I know. Oh, you can't see it on the GoPro, but Notre Dame's just right through the little view over there. Notre Dame. Yeah. Also got us a little snack, a little onion soup. They don't call it French onion. <laughs> it's just onion soup here. Why would they? <laughs> just bought us a nice piece of art to hang in our house when we get home and uh, come around the right here, the Seine River and what do you know? Notre Dame, baby. That's pretty darn cool. They're rebuilding from where it uh, was burning a couple years ago. Here. We're here. We made it. couple of snapshots right there on the bridge with Notre Dame. It is very, very touristy right here. So it's packed, packed with people. And instead we're gonna walk down these stairs that you can see is currently walking. And we're gonna walk along the sign for a minute to the next set of stairs. Yeah. Walks along the same, how do we say it? The same? Whatever. It's one of them. I know, but we're saying it wrong. Sign, sane. I take it from how, uh, what's it, Colin Firth says it in the movie. I, I listened to it the other night because it walks along the sane. 
the same. I guess it's because remain sane. Yeah, that makes sense. Whatever. Let me take a picture right here. Let's do it. <laughs> Kayla's famous. Wave to him. Not one person wave back. No, no, it's the roof. And Free. they're not even French. Alright, let's uh... Alright. Goodbye, Notre Dame. So that's the best picture you're gonna take. Yeah, like right here. Note your dom. Hey, let's get on this corner and take another selfie in front of it. Okay. It is very busy here. It is a Saturday. I don't recommend weekends. Being out in the city in the weekend. I mean it is beautiful. It's crazy looking. Yeah. But it is very I mean like look, they got all that stuff in the front to like that's all the security and all that to get in. Yeah. Well and it might be a lot of the stuff for the for the rebuild. Right. It might that might be what most of it is. It probably is. Yeah, for the rebuild. On the metro from uh, the where were we? Notre Dame. Hopped on the metro from the Notre Dame, and now look at what we're coming out of the uh, metro to see. What an what an entrance! <laughs> wow. The Arc de Triomphe. Whoa! <laughs> hey. That was kind of a cool entrance, Whoa. right? I could see the end. Like, I, I know, I'm sorry. Right there. Yeah, it's right here. Can I like go back down and ride back up? Yeah, you have to go, yeah, go back down and ride back up. That was kind of cool. <laughs> this is famous like turn around. You see where the people are uh -huh. around. Yeah. It, I think it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, wait. I think I'm used to the one in New York. Yeah. Yeah, this is big. There we go. The sun's out of it a little bit now. You can see it a little bit better. You see all the cars just riding around it. It's massive. Alright, well, we saw the Arctic Triumph. It was Triumph. Thing's huge. Too many tourists to be doing that. Very busy down here. Very, very busy. And they say Paris, they said Paris isn't busy in March. Yeah. I don't understand that. No. Oh, Cartier. I'm about to get ran over. Oh, he's letting us go. Come on. The bike stopped, but the motorcycle didn't want to stop. Cartier. Mont Blanc. Go buy a pin. Uh, this thing. Here's the lottery. Supposed to get macarons from here. Lottery. One of the last times on the metro. Might ride it one more time to get to where we're going later tonight, but yeah. might walk. We'll see. Metro is small. Yeah, and, it's, and you sit opposite compared to like the London tube. Yeah, the seats are very uncomfortable. Yes, yeah, very. Wow. 
we ran back to the apartment for just a second to get, get a little bit of a phone charge and a costume change and uh we're heading down to the other side of the river from the eiffel crew uh, for the eiffel tower to take some pictures uh before our river cruise we have to meet for our river cruise in about an hour and a half so we're gonna go get some cool pictures on the other side let's not get ran over in the meantime there's the eiffel tower are you walking backwards with me B -ball. Is it b ball or uh, footy? No, that's b ball. What are they doing? They're playing b ball. No, that's soccer over there. Oh, b ball. B ball is the one making the noise over there? Yeah. I figured we'd, we'd like this walk better than walking on the street. Yeah. Enchante. Bonsoir. Enchante. <laughs> I haven't even heard the song. I think I played it for you the other night when we were drunk. Oh, yeah, maybe so. <laughs> Which one? So many dogs not on a leash and so well behaved. I know. That is not an American thing. It's the French dogs. Yeah, the French ass. dogs just know where to walk and they just follow their owners. Yeah. And they, they well, a lot of times the dogs walk in front of the owners and know where to go. Yeah. And all they do is go and they just. And the dog follows. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm just walking in the Eiffel Tower Park. I think we need to come back here tonight. Yeah. Go back to our little bodega over there. I already got it pinned our spot. I agree. We found the party. Everybody's partying right here. Young, young kids. Well, we think this is a little one step too I close. A, I liked where we were last. Yeah, it's one little ago. one little step back that way. Yeah. Is where we you were. See the whole thing. We were secluded yeah, in you, our you, own little area. You have to it was like, very quiet except for us because we were loud playing music. You didn't have to arch your neck as high to see it. Nice, okay. Yeah, I think this is a hair too close. But apparently this is where everyone goes. So yeah, look at that. these are all these kids. I'm telling you, these kids are like, I mean, 15, 16 at best. Busy, busy, busy. Popping pop bottles, <laughs> popping bottles back there. I just don't get sick of this view, like just seeing the Eiffel Tower. Do you? I know. I, that's why I want to stay one more day. Just stay here. Just, <laughs> just stay right, right here by the Apple Tower. I just want to be right here. I don't want to go anywhere else. I agree. This is it. This is it. Kayla in Paris. Also, this is what you also see. Sunglasses. That's a di North. that's a different thing. Yeah, bags. You definitely see all these uh, these things. Could get worse. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Give me a kiss. So many. Now turn around to me. Stay right there.
gonna be like our river cruise? Yep. spot right across the river literally right off the bridge you come down on these stairs and there's like hardly anybody down here and you can get some really cool looking photos with the whole Eiffel Tower this nice bridge kind of in the accent of it it's a really nice uh, yeah, sure. nice view you got the water of the Seine Eiffel Tower the whole bridge you got these boats going by it's a, a secret little nice spot. You see there are other people that come here, but it's not as crowded as it is on the bridge. So this is a pretty pretty All perfect people over there need to get on Pinterest. I know right and figure out yeah, figure out the, the, the <laughs> photo spots. We're also doing it. Yeah. We didn't have any plastic cups, so we just like eh, well, I guess we're gonna just drink out of the whole bottle. Yeah. <laughs> Now that is a shot. <laughs> All right, we have about 20, 30 minutes before our uh, river cruise, and we're still down here by the. And this feels like we're on a dock almost. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like where they used to dock or something to, to pull stuff yeah. up. But we're right here on, along the river, looking at the Eiffel Tower as the sun's going down. It's getting dark. This is amazing. We got a bottle of wine we have to finish before we get on the boat. So that's oh, not going to be a problem. Oh, the top just lit up. Oh, it did. Oh, so, and the middle. Yeah, it's starting to light up. Yeah, it's starting to light up. So they'll light it up a little bit and then 8 o'clock, mm -hmm. right when we're getting on the boat, is when they will start the actual show. Yeah, seven's too early now. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. our boat is just around the thing. we got to sit here and unfortunately finish this bottle of wine. <laughs> I don't know if we can do it. No, for challenge accepted. Ch yeah. As we have this view right here. Can it get much worse? I don't think so. What a view. Bring your folding chairs and sit right here. I know, like never leave. Where to be? Look at this on the GoPro. Wow, it looks so good. How beautiful this is with that dusk after sunset sky We're walking back across the bridge to head to our sunset cruise i mean does it get any prettier that is amazing Bite you? Yes. It didn't hurt though. He thought you had food. I know. So that's how used to people he is. Or she is. I'm sorry. Look how cute they are. I'm going to get rabies now. Yep. <laughs> Kayla's got, got bit by a duck in Paris. And it all started. I'm patient zero. You're patient zero. <laughs> all right. We're going to document it here. Patient zero. The fungus is in you. 
I hope not. You want some, some okay. uh, sanitizer? Yeah, she went like this. It felt like this. Like, it's just, like they don't have teeth. No. This is the bridge we were on just a little while ago. I know, we were just there. She's a French girl. She said, yeah, once a year they clean the river and everybody goes swimming. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh my I know, but you should have asked. You should have asked how do you, how do you clean, clean the river? Unfortunately, our last night in Paris has come to an end, but not necessarily too unfortunately because we made best friends. We might have made travel friends. I love them. We did make friends with some people that we were in line to get on the uh, sunset cruise with, or whatever the, the river cruise, and uh, we had a lot of fun with them. They were um, from Brighton, right? No, full sun. Somewhere in. Somewhere in the south of the UK, we really got along with them. So we just got done hanging out with them. And now we're walking back to our apartment in the cold. And it's late, but it was fun. So tomorrow, unfortunately, we have to catch a train back to, to London and then get on the flight from Heathrow to America. Our holiday is over. And thus is so is this night. Our night is over. Cause I'm out of breath and I just inhaled straight trash. Cause wo welcome to Paris. Welcome to Paris. We're full of trash. It doesn't smell that bad really honestly. I know that's weird. It really doesn't smell as bad as you think it does. Kayla even said that earlier. 